Hi everyone, the Lord Wolf here, back with another level 4 mission. This one is called Unauthorized Military Presence Against the Angel Cartel. Let's warp to the location, and I picked this one up in Yona, so what I like to do is uh, go straight into set destination there again. And let's see uh, how my Dominic's Navy issue will handle this, uh, this next level 4 mission. Uh, once again, shouldn't be too hard um, a mission because the rewards are only I have to get 10 militants and the rewards is only 766,000 ISKs and 692,000 for completing it within 3 hours and 40 minutes anyways let's check it out uh, I can actually put my uh, scanner back here in warp Dominic's Navy issue obviously drone boat uh, I haven't changed the target painter yet because I want to see uh, how it does um, in in this mission um, because uh, last time I actually forgot to use it on a lot of uh, on a lot of the mobs on the pirates uh, so let's just I'd like to take care of some of the small ones first Let's see if my drone scan take care of that. Yep, that looks like it, it's gonna work. Take care of that hunter next again. That's good. And then we'll move on to the closest one. Let's see if my guns can hit it. Looks like it. That's halfway. That's not too bad. Let's once again see if I can set the tracking camera somewhere a bit better. Take a bit more distance. And, oh, they are actually, whoa, why the hell do, did I take my curators out there? That's actually not what I wanted. My guard days will be better at, at these distances. So let's attack the next one. And in the meantime, this marauder is coming in range for my guns. So let's use them. And that's a bit better. Yeah, far better hits here on that legionnaire compared to the full sentries. Good job. There you go, just just four volleys and they were gone. And these marauders seem pretty strong. Let's add the target painter again. And pretty fast, because uh, my guns don't seem to... Ah, finally a decent hit. Let's see if my, uh, my citrus can still hit at this range. Yep, even 11 kilometers. No big problem. Although my guns are missing a bit. And there it goes. And then the final one. Should once again be in range for my guns as well. Yeah, there you go. He explodes as well. I'm not going to bother with the loot. I'm alone online at the moment. and For me alone, it takes a lot of time. So everyone is back. Let's head over to the gate. Reload it. Good to go. So, yeah, even at 10, 11 kilometers, my... Uh, my guard days did a good job. I was a bit surprised by that. But that worked out nicely. So let's move on. The biggest disadvantage right here, Dominic's, is pretty slow. Maximum speed, even with my afterburner, only 330 meters per second. So it's going to be a little while before I reach the gate. And this does give me a chance to quickly check out the details again. Um, we believe you're the escort team is split up into two groups. If you strike fast enough, you'll probably avoid getting swarmed by them all at once. Uh, intercept the transport and capture the men on board. So what I want is 10 militants. Okay. That was a pretty easy start. And let's see what the next room gives. Come on, guys. Move in. There we go. Nice looking uh, fire ant. As you see, as they're coming into range, they are doing some decent damage. With their auto cannons. Look at that. That, that looks pretty damn cool. Yeah. And he's almost through my shields. Of course, I'm starting to hit his armor as well. Uh, let's have a view from this one so we can watch the explosion. 
Goodbye. Next. What's the bounty on these guys? 400,000 ISK. Not too bad. And oh, there's actually two more of them very close to me. Which I hadn't noticed yet. So after this, yeah, they finally have begun working on my armor. Um, obviously a Dominic sitting still like that is a target that they like a lot and now we are a bit close so what I'll do um, because I'm taking two sets of sentries I can't really uh, take five hammerheads anymore and still have both the um, both five mediums and five small ones in case I need them so it's just three ogres and what the hell launch drones Start some ripping and will my hammerheads attack as well? Yeah, there you go. So now we're in a close range brawl. Um, obviously, these Gist commanders are built for that as well. But with my uh, ion blasters, they take start to take more damage as well. And I've got plenty of drones in space now. So they'll die quickly. Goodbye. Then the last one snuck up behind me. There we go. Drones coming in. We get decent firepower. Not great on my guns. Um, I'm slowly training up for take two guns. Uh, but a great tank on this Dominic's Navy issue so far. And I can actually start moving. Now that you mention it. Since uh, 54 was the range, I can actually definitely start moving closer. Let's see, that one will be taken care of quickly. Boom. Goodbye. Everyone back to Drone Bay. And now let's scout for those transport ships. Anything transporty? Nope. Nope, can't really find it anyways. Let's move on to the next group then. Hmm, I wonder what will trigger the, the spawn of the transport ships then. These are warlords. Ah, looking maybe stuck. Here, yep. And oh, nice, uh, nice looking patrols there. So we still have some work to do actually, 12 minutes in and return to bay guys, but we're starting to close in, and probably I can go this way and uh, start approaching both of them, just get in between them a little, and let's uh, get started with that group, anything else there, yep, 60 and an 80, okay. All aboard, get the sentries ready. Yep, I can stop now. Launch. Let's see if I can hit that hunter. And I'll probably need to be careful of my range. At least that was a good hit. So let's stop again. Because, uh, Sometimes you do tend to coast away from uh, 5,000 meters from your sentries and one of them is targeted at least. Come on guys. Ah, finally it's gone. Let's start hitting the next one indeed. Target painter on there. Ah, I got full aggro as well. And they have started shooting at some of my sentries interestingly enough. So I gotta keep an eye on that. Everyone in range. Yep, yep, yep. And... Yep, that should work out. Let's see if I can still take care of that hunter. Boom, goodbye. Well done. Start attacking that one. And let's start targeting some more frigates. From the, from the other group, which are already in range. So I'll have to hurry up actually a little. Uh, will I finish that Primus first? Come on. Get some good hits in there. 
couple more. It's already preemptively stopped my target painter, so I can start firing there. And more frigates, yep, more frigates. That's a good hit, and goodbye. Start engaging that defiler. I do like to take care of, uh, of the frigates first, especially those very fast ones, like that impaler. Uh, cap wise, no problem. Oh, return to drone bay. One of my sentries is actually in. Um, was actually starting to get hit pretty seriously. Gardes attack that impaler. There you go at 30. My Gardes will do fine as well. So, yeah, uh, you can see right there, you do need to uh, keep an eye on stuff at least a little bit. I'll go for that Primus first, it'll be fine. And there's still one at 62, is that one? Ah, that's the transport. Well, slowly approaching me, I'm gonna let it do. Just keep coming closer. And again, one of my guard is under attack. Gotta be a bit careful. Yep, its shields are going down pretty quickly. One at 23. Luckily, they, they can't take uh, a decent, half decent amount of punishment. Uh, Liquidator, that's probably a pretty decent, yeah, reps a decent amount. Shield's almost gone. Goodbye, next one. I'll just return that one, uh, return to drone bay. Let's see how they like that. Next. And, ooh, a Gisty Hunter, pretty damn close. So I'll take care of that Marauder in a second. And then I'll think I'll quickly switch to my small drones. There we go, ret return everyone. Small. Attack that Hunter. Uh, let's put my guns on there as well. Not that that'll help a lot. But uh, yeah, hobgoblins, they'll take care of that quickly enough. And next. Well, there's still some stuff in range for my guard days, so I think I'll start with them. Because uh, yeah, overall the guard days probably have the largest amount of DPS, but anything within 10 kilometers is, is not ideal for them. Tank holding up, no problem. So that's looking good with the current setup. Engage the Centurion. And then there's just one more to target and then the transport ship, which is my goal. So that's all right. Um, let's see what those Warlords, I think I can still use the Gardes on them. Pretty good hits, as you can see, taking care of stuff. Add a good clip. Almost 20 minutes in though. So we'll have to see what the rewards will say. And that's already flashing. That's already 3.2 million so far. That's pretty decent. Uh, the big advantage, you don't really have to worry too much about your ship itself. You do have to worry about your drones though. And keep going. Is over there yeah they're a bit close now so once again we'll have to start switching can I target that one yes ogres out some of these out as well start attacking engage targets actually that those hammerheads weren't really listening let's approach that one and uh, yeah, we'll take care of the rest just with uh, three ogres and two hammerheads. Uh, next, let's just take a close one here. The defeater. Those are good, uh, good gun hits uh, when they're within 5k. Goodbye. Next. Just go on that one. He's really close, so that won't be a problem. And oh. This time the music is still playing. I hear soft music in the background, high sec music. 
So that's nice as well. Now we don't have the same problem um, as last time. Pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, more than pretty decent, I would say. Come on, let's take care of that warlord next. None of them are under attack, so that's okay. Cap holding strong. And actually, let's uh, let's use the guns on that transport ship because uh, he's carrying what I need. There you go. That's that's a good hit. He's gone. Approach. Ten militants. So I get what I need. Let's start reapproaching the enemies just for those final shots. Come on. We'll do fine. I will shoot a complete uh, set of charges from, uh, from my guns in this mission though. And uh, since I am using faction charges, that is a little bit of cost. Another attack, come on. There you go, ran out of charges. Uh, Gist Warlord, 543,000 bounty. That's starting to be decent as well. But now he's in structure, and you could obviously tell he has a half decent tank, a serious amount of hit points. So you're next, the Centurion, that's all that's left. And yeah, that is uh, maybe something that might have, uh, have shown. Uh, during this mission, whenever missile impacts, you get this this shake uh, of the entire screen. Um, it's a little bit annoying, especially when you first notice it. Now, for this mission, it seems that I've gotten pretty much used to it, so it didn't bother me that much. Um, but it, it is a little bit annoying. Return everyone. Will that work? Nope, looks... No, they, it did work. And there we go. Let's see if the mission is complete. Um, yep, there you go. I have uh, the militants so I can bring them back to Yona. Everyone is aboard. And there you go, guys. Another quick level 4 mission. Uh, 22 minutes. Uh, I'll let you guys know how much it's uh, in total. And I'll see you all next time.